Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 234. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison. I am Ryan Thogmartin, and this is the Funeral Professions only weekly new show where we take the gloves off, like everything is on the table, and we're going to just dive and cannonball right into the conversation this week. That's it. Yeah, we're uh, post-NFDA convention in Nashville, and that's what this show's about. Uh, it didn't come without a little controversy, so uh, you certainly don't want to go away and uh, miss our discussion on that. But Ryan, let's just kick it off by, hey, tell me about NFDA Nashville from your viewpoint. Well, first, it was awesome. I mean, you, your company, CNJ Financial, which is the, the backing of the Funeral Nation show, the fuel that makes the ship go, uh, and Disrupt Media, we sponsored the NFDA Lounge, or I'm sorry, the NFDA Live booth. It used to be the Social Media Lounge. And uh, that presented great opportunity for you and I to kind of take this environment of the Funeral Nation show live, which was fantastic. But I want to give props to NFDA. Um, they pulled off a great comeback convention um, back together after two years and I really believe that it was a home run. Um, I think attendance was high. Booth traffic was great for the most part. Um, lots of good conversation. And I'll tell you what, like I gave more hugs in that three day period than probably the last five years. I was hugging people I didn't even know, man. Like if you came up to me, like I needed a shirt that just said free hugs. Like I, I would have done a free hug booth, maybe, maybe next year, but um, I, I just think overall it, it was great. The the welcome party was fantastic. Batesville and, and Legacy sponsored that and Runaway June played and it was just a, an awesome environment. I showed up to that party with our team, um, just floored by the number of people that were there. Uh, you know, it was outside. It was a bit chilly that night, but dude, it was just people. This profession was ready to be together. I, uh, I concur wholeheartedly, um, you know, and it started actually for us on Sunday morning when we played golf, you know, the, the funeral service foundation, we all knocked it out of the park. Great course. Everything was fabulous. Um, Jamie Meredith's third game, right. And, uh, out of our team, I think he, you, we used four or five, six of his shots. So, uh, that was a big deal. You're talking about winning, right? But I, I, I concur with you that uh, the kickoff party, you know, which literally kicked it off, set the tone for the rest of the week. Yeah. And as we went, you know, seeing old friends, seeing people we've missed, we've Zoomed with, giving hugs, shaking some flesh, um, everybody there was ready. And it, yeah. it was like, to me, um, a big family reunion over time because we've been gone from, so, you know, each other so long. That's and right. uh I agree. Our booth um, and every, you know, I spent more time literally just walking around, talking and doing things, which is, uh, I have a hard time making friends. But um, anyway, just catching up, having conversations, you know, looking at new things, talking, you know, uh, about what happened over the last year with folks I haven't been able to directly communicate with. Yeah. And uh, it, it was the best, you know, that, uh, live show we put on um mm -hmm. that was the energy center i mean lord have mercy when jamie got up there and yelled i think those hundreds of thousands of people that came up it was just incredible the energy it was insane it Half was a million i think just crazy so uh yeah i enjoyed well, if, it if, if no one knows what we're talking about our company sponsored the nfda live booth we got an hour of free for all airtime all three days where, hey, look, our, our booth was in proximity to NFDA Live booth, and I could see, like, all day there was programming happening there. Um, there was never a crowd until we got on for the hour for – we kind of just took this, this show, the, the format, and went live off the cuff. Um, I got a lot of questions about our prep, and the conversation was short. <laughs> There was zero prep. There was literally, hey, what time do we got to be over there? Okay, see you there. And we just went live and winged it. And it was 
It was intense. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but if no one knows, go to NFDA's Facebook page because they streamed that live every day. And I believe that it's still there. At least I hope it is on demand. Um, but we created a crowd. We People literally stopped and watched and listened. We were very loud, um, very loud. And it, it was fantastic. Anyway, sorry about that. Go ahead. No, no, I, I, I fully agree with you. Uh, you know, when I was walking around the floor, I got to see some new things that were out there. Um, no doubt, it's funny if we could run some shows back from 2016. No, no, 15, right? Uh, we were talking about technology, you know, coming into the, it was, this was a technology fair, right? This yeah. was, yeah. Um, if you, if you are not, if you're not in technology, you got an AOL address in the business and you are so far behind of what's going on. And, you know, I was pleased to see that, uh, that yeah. we're moving forward. You know, our, our friends at goodtrust.com that, you know, CNJ worked together with, I mean, we had, get this at this convention, right? We had a guy that was a senior member of Google at a funeral convention, Right. Think about yeah. that, folks. Uh, another piece that you mentioned before we came on air was acquisitions. Acquisition mm -hmm. market right now, it's uh, it is hot. It's el caliente. I mean, it's yes. something else. It, it absolutely is. Um, there are big acquisitions coming down the pipe, um, and not like I'm going to buy one firm or two rooftops like 60 30 big act big things happening and that was what it, it really sets the stage and, and you and i have talked about this in previous shows um the data says that 58 percent of funeral homeowners in the next five years are going to exit the business without any succession plan so you're going to be getting a younger owner which is you know the technology is going to map to to that younger owner which is great but the if you're in this business and you want to grow and you want to scale, the next five years is going to be a heyday um, if you got some gusto and want to make moves. I, I, I fully agree. And we're seeing that. Uh, you and I talked to some of the same people. And what's interesting, these aren't the public companies making these big moves. These right. are uh, regional and smaller acquisition companies that are coming along now that uh, they have the financing and the capital to make these moves, the wherewithal because they've been in the business to manage and run it. So uh, it's, it's a target rich environment. And today, mm -hmm. if you're even thinking about selling your funeral home, I actually met a guy at the airport in Dallas that uh, got off the plane and said, hey, you know, I saw your show. I forgot to tell you about this. And, you know, talked. He said, did you sell your funeral homes? I'm like, yeah. He said, I'm considering it. He said, he's already got an offer from one, uh, public entity. I said, well, you know, obviously don't take the first offer. And I connected them up with some other folks out here. It's, it's serious business. And it's it great is. because uh, these people coming in to the market on that particular level, they know what they're doing and they've been around the business for a while. These aren't, they have investor money, but they have the management know-how of how our industry works. Speaking of management know-how, how about this uh, C and J sticks and kicks cigar party. So kicks I gotta be sticks. honest. Sorry. <laughs> I, that was a fantastic party. Uh, you guys did an insane job. The, the people that you brought together. Um, yeah, I, w there were over 120 people. I, I think you guys said, and, and at, that came through the cigar social and in the, the party, um, um, insane conversation, just the caliber of people that attended uh, off the church, insane. Anybody that was anybody was there, uh, movers and shakers. And I'll be honest, I put on a hat this morning that matches this orange that I wore to the cigar party and I, I couldn't put it on and it's been to the dry cleaners. So um <laughs> So you have, so to, you have to tell the breeze. story of um, yeah. Ryan, you know, Ryan's not a cigar guy, but he came grace, you know, to hang out. And it, it wasn't just for cigar smokers. 
However, if you come to a cigar party where there's a hundred plus people smoking cigars, guess what? You're going to smell like it. You walked into your like hotel, hotel room and what happened? I walked in my hotel room at 1130. Uh, my entire family, my wife and kids and sister-in-law uh, were, were with us and worked the booth. We're asleep. And uh, they woke up out of a dead sleep because of, of <laughs> how I smelled. And I was instructed to get in the bathroom, get in the shower, put my clothes in the, the dry cleaning bag, seal them up. Uh, I didn't burn them when I got back, but they, they stayed in the garage and they went to, uh, they went to the dry cleaners and, and the clothes came out okay. The, hat, the hat's going to need some Febreze and some work, but you know what? I'd do it all over again tomorrow night because the 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 fellowship and the engagement and and the caliber of conversation was was awesome. You guys did an amazing amazing job. Great Thank event. You. It was Spare, like goodie bags, gifts, pictures. Celebrated a birthday. I had cupcakes for everybody. Like the entire night was, um, and. and it, I'll paint a picture because this cigar bar was three stories and it had a nice outside patio. And there was not one place that you could walk in this building where there wasn't, it was, it was taken over by, by funeral directors and, and, you know, the people that you all invited and, you know, boardrooms that you could smoke in that were full of people having deep conversation er just everywhere. It was, it was good stuff. And, and you guys hit a absolute grand slam. Thanks. We're doing it in Baltimore. So uh, you guys listen up. Uh, that's coming again next year. You know, Ryan, uh, we, we talked a lot about what happened there and the good stuff. Um, there was a little bit of controversy that I was made privy to that uh, there was a, a particular company there that really put themselves out um, and I say they certainly did differentiate themselves on a message of uh, a faith-based company, right? That, and the remarks and people that came up to me uh, weren't all that positive. Uh, they felt that they were being excluded. Uh, question, they asked me to pros if I don't believe that way, should I still do business with them? Mm. Um, if I'm seen doing business with them, does that affect my community that I work with because these folks are perceived and are known, not these folks, the company, but that particular uh, belief is, you know, they don't accept people like me. And so I'm going to throw that back on your side because I, I mean, I'm faith-based, but I don't make my faith public and, and how I work. Uh, that made me think a little bit differently uh, when the other people, I didn't understand their perspective until they brought it up to me mm -hmm. uh, because we have other folks there. We have obviously Jewish and Hindu and all sorts of people at NFDA, but this particular group figured they would single themselves out as one particular. So yeah. your thoughts? I, I've got a, I got a couple of thoughts on this. I mean, I'm, I'm very open with my faith and, and um, personally, uh, have been very open and have shared my my testimony on on the platforms and through our our email lists and things of that nature. So um, I've got a respect for for showing your faith and putting a Bible verse on your shirt. Um, you know, I as somebody that that is used to uh, people not doing business with you because of what you wear, um, I'm o I'm okay with that. Um, you know, it, it's to each their own. And, and if that's, you know, someone, there, there's plenty of funeral directors that choose to not do business with Disrupt simply because they can't stand the way I look. And so, you know, I'm, I'm used to that. So that doesn't shock me. Um, but I, I do think you, you raise good points on, on both sides. I'm, I'm a devout believer and I've never um, shot away from that and have made it publicly known um we've never done anything as our entire company uh like you know in, in that regard but um i have distributed faith-based content through our company's email list and and things of that nature about personally who you're working with when you when you work with disrupt um and that probably has rubbed people the wrong way but look at the end of the day i'll make this point um we're talking about it. 
20,000 people are going to watch this show. Um, they're going to have recollection of who that company is. We're, we're not mentioning them. Um, however, it created conversation. And I can respect people creating exposure and creating conversation. Um, I don't disagree so, at all. And, and I'm not saying, I, I mean, I'm a little ambivalent about it, where I became a little, uh, not a little, where I became to a point where it needed to be spoken up from is where I have people from other communities that, mm -hmm. that felt that they were um, getting preached not to. part of. Yeah. 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 Sure. And so, you know, is that a place, do, do we serve everybody um, just like chapels now, you know, chapels um, with a lot of religious stuff in there, can you serve, you know, different religions when you have a, you know, crucifix there. Uh, does yeah. that mean, yeah, you see what I'm saying? And our, our yeah, world's no, it's changed. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, our world's changed. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't, shouldn't share our faith, etc. However, when you talk to people on the other side, it makes you pause and consider, um, is that really something we should do from that perspective? Anyway, hey, look, love to hear from you guys. That's right. If Let's throw it out uh, there. If you're someone who feels strongly one way or the other, you know, give us a call. Uh, I think it'd be awesome to have a debate uh, online. Gosh, you know, how hot that would that be? But most of the time, we've only had one that was a, a sort of a debate one time with the Wisconsin group up there. Most people don't have the cojones, if you will, to come on and say, hey, you know what, this is the way I believe. And then the other one, this is the way I believe. But what I firmly believe is that we come to the middle <laughs> and have yeah. some sort of common ground. That's what's most That's right. important. That's right. And again, folks, uh, just remember that General Nation, uh, we don't, well, we do make the news sometimes, but most of the time we just report it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're exactly right. Well, anyway, we're uh, we're getting ready to sign off here. Uh, Y'all look for in the, I think we're just going to go with the beginning of the year. Uh, we're going to change our format here. It's going to be awesome. Uh, even more awesome we are now. Uh, I think that you'll like it quite a bit. It'll be yeah. in somewhat of a magazine style, but we'll leave that alone for now. And we've got some great people lined up to do it with us. So uh, it's coming. And your uh, next couple of weeks, in fact, I, I just looked at my travel schedule. My first week without travel is uh, the first week of December. So I'll be coming to you from the hitherlands of the United States. It'll be fun. I love it. I love it. And that's one of the things that makes this show so beautiful is that it continues to roll regardless of where we are, we are at. If there is internet access or game, airports, islands, hotel rooms, probably the bathroom and no one knew it, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, been yeah, anywhere that's, that's when the video's off. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But look, man, it was, it was so good to see you um, in, in, get my family back in, in the mix of, of business, like the travel that I've had in the last couple of years, you know, the whole family hasn't been able to go. We haven't been at, at, at conferences and it was just really, really awesome for everybody to be back in proximity um, and just back to, it, it felt, it, it's the most normal business that I've had in two years. And it was, it was amazing. It was it good was to see awesome. you. It was uh, good to see you, and honestly, our family reunion was a success. Yes, it was. That. And, you know, Anthony, all the NFDA crew that made this happen, the foundation, kudos to all of you. You know what? We'll tell you the truth, and the truth is you hit a home run. Well done. Yeah, you did. And I want to encourage anybody that's watching that's never been to an NFDA, you need to make it a priority. There is... There's a lot that happens at NFDA that influences the entire profession and you're almost in the dark if you're not present when it's going down. Um, you need to experience it and you need to get a, a very international and global perspective of the death care space. And you know, I think it's easy for us to get stuck in just our community. This is my firm, this is my community, these are my people and not think of the entire profession at large. There's a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of things happening. There are things that, that are at NFDA and other conferences that 
absolutely can change the dynamic of your business that you wouldn't be exposed to unless you're there. There's still that value to be there and to engage and be in part of these conversations. Iron sharpens iron. We got to get in proximity with people that are going to that are going to lift us up and challenge us to think bigger. And, and so if you've never been to a, a national con convention, um, you, you need to put it on the list and, and really make it a priority. You will you will if you want to get value, you will get value. That's period. it. And if you can't get there, just watch us. We'll bring it to you. So it's there you all. go. That's it. We'll bring you all value right, from uh, this that. side of uh, Interstate 51. <laughs> Uh, right. It's good to see you, and uh, good to see you. We'll catch up sometime next week. I think I'm in Orlando, so uh, we'll see how that works Ooh, out. <laughs> beautiful humidity. All right. Until next time, have a great effing week out here. Get you out of here.